You just arrange the, the cucumber on the plate, sugar and uh, eggs, just based on uh, a bit of dill. Cucumbers and ice cream seem like an unlikely combination, but the idea of using only locally sourced produce in several of Denmark's most successful restaurants encourages them to be more creative. The, the click point, as you call it, was the creation of the new Nordic kitchen, the ideas of the new Nordic kitchen. The new Nordic kitchen is a 10-point manifesto drawn up by a group of chefs and other food enthusiasts, including Jan Craig Jakobsen, aimed at encouraging chefs to use local produce. So that's the dessert. And when Klaus and I had made this manifesto, we sat down and looked at each other and said, we, we, I think we did much more than just an outline for, for a Nordic kitchen. We, on the meter level, it's a genuine plan for erecting a local kitchen anywhere in the world. And uh, it has given place to a lot of creativity in this country. So it, it worked in a certain way. Along with Jan, Klaus Meyer, the founder of the world's best restaurant, Noma, helped to write the manifesto. He is one of many chefs who now enjoy celebrity status in Denmark. There are over 25 hours of cooking programs a week on Denmark's three main television channels, compared to around 14 hours in 2002. David Johansson, head chef at Kokoria, who has held a Michelin star for three years now, thinks that TV could be part of the reason for Denmark's success. I think it's a part of uh, this uh, kind of TV phenomena, you like, Jamie Oliver was a big influence in Denmark, I think. We also have like some Danish chef, Klaus Meyer is one of them, who's uh, pre-owner of uh, Noma. He has a good way to explain about food and he was like the guy actually starting this kind of Nordic wave to use the local produce and stuff like that. I think uh, the young Danish chef there was like, oh that sounds interesting, let's try to develop that. So the reason that Denmark has been so successful could be purely down to the desire to become a celebrity after young chefs saw the success of Noma. Or it could just be based on the latest trend of the new Nordic kitchen and everyone is jumping on the bandwagon to get their shot at glory. I actually think that Denmark always have produced a lot of good chefs, but before it was more, it was more trendy to go out. If, if you were a Danish chef, many of the chefs were like traveling to France, Italy and stuff like that and worked there for a period on top level restaurants and maybe come back to Denmark and then of course they will do like French style food but now we have so many extremely good restaurants in Denmark and in Copenhagen especially but all over Denmark. Well I don't think it's just a gimmick but, but if you have a new style or new ideas coming into a cultural uh, realm there will be translators and there will be copycats. <laughs> it's a snowball effect. When young people see that there's, there's a really a field to go into with lots of possibilities and lots of fame and lots of glamour and everything, they, you will attract people. Copenhagen Hospitality College attracted so many people that it had to expand at the end of 2010. It is now Northern Europe's largest vocational college and able to host up to 2,000 trainee chefs. But the students say that they are not just there for the fame or glamour, their goals are far more altruistic. Be a good yeah. chef, bringing a people good food. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Give people a, an experience when they eat at, a, at my yeah. restaurant. Give them an experience, not just a tasting uh, experience. But they need to be full and happy when they leave yeah. the restaurant. Yeah. And that's it. Then I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. So not to to earn many money uh, something. Just give people a very good experience when they eat at my restaurant. This desire to simply please people could be the key to Denmark's success. However, there may be more to it than just giving customers a good dining experience. I think that we are willing to, 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 to dare, we are dare, daredevils. We dare to go a, across the line, the unwritten line. So I think one of the main thing is that we are very, very uh, advanced in, in uh, creating ideas, in, in being innovative and of course being creative. Something that all critics, chefs and restaurateurs seem to agree on is the development of the new Nordic kitchen as the catalyst of change in the Danish cooking industry, spearheaded by Noma's international success, which small restaurants are now seeking to emulate. There's a clear cycle that is producing great Danish chefs, 
which started with Noma being recognized as the world's best restaurant. Now those that once aspired to be successful are the newer icons for Denmark's next generation of world-class chefs. I think that we will see way more stars than we have already. You could put a Danish chef in, in, in any area in, in the world and, and he would be able to make a remarkable restaurant.